Today we're building a hamburger menu from scratch and I like to keep these guys pretty quick so feel free to slow me down if you need to but let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. What we're building is a hamburger menu that toggles this off-screen menu and we'll just use HTML, CSS and a tiny bit of JavaScript. So let's get started. We'll start off with the HTML and it's pretty simple. We'll just create a nav tag and inside of that we'll just have one div with the class name of ham menu. Inside we'll throw in three span tags and these will be each of those bars that you see in the ham menu. Now just before the nav tag let's also create our off-screen menu and in here we'll just have our UL with a few list items. That's it for the HTML so let's hop in the CSS now. Let's start off with the off-screen menu by giving it a dark background color and then we'll set the height to 100 view height. We'll give it a width of 100%, but a max width of 450 pixels. Now we'll wanna set the position to fixed with a top of zero, and we'll also set the right property to negative 450 pixels. Now our menu shouldn't be visible when it's positioned off the screen. We'll just add in some flex properties to center the list items, up the font, and lastly a transition just so that it has a nice animation. Now we'll wanna have a class on this div that holds some styles when we wanna bring it back into view. So we'll create a CSS rule for an off-screen menu when it has the class of active. And we'll just set the right property to zero. And we'll be adding this class in our menu later in the JavaScript. Now to style the nav, I'm just gonna give it one rim of padding and a display of flex and a dark background color. I gave it a display of flex because this is how we'll push our hamburger menu to the right of the nav bar. So next, let's create a rule for the ham menu and let's give it a height of 50 pixels and a width of 50 pixels. And we'll use a margin left of auto and this is how I get the menu to go all the way to the right of the nav bar. We'll position this relative because its children's span elements will need to be positioned absolutely relative to its parent, which is this ham menu. Now for the three spans inside. Let's give them a small height of 5 pixels and a width of 100% and we'll give it a purple background color. Now we should be able to see our span tags. Let's round them up with some border radius and we'll also set the position to absolute. The left and top properties are 50% and we'll also translate negative 50% on both the X and Y axis. Also we'll add in a transition. Now the reason we only see one of the span tags is because they're all on top of each other. So now let's grab our first span tag and set the top property to 25% and then we'll target our last span tag and give it a top property of 75%. Now we should be able to see our full hamburger menu. So now I wanna write some styles that'll make our spans look like an X. So later on, let's toggle a class of active on our ham menu when it's clicked. So we can write styles for the ham menu when it has a class of active and then target the spans. I'll target the first span and we'll update the top property to 50% so that it's in the center again. And then we'll wanna rotate it 45 degrees. Next, we'll just wanna hide the center span so we can just turn its opacity to zero. Then we'll target the last span element and we'll set the top property to 50% just like the first span, except this one will have a negative 45 degree rotation. Cool, so now our hamburger menu has another set of styles for when it's active or open. So let's Let's go ahead and add some JavaScript to make this all work. The JavaScript is crazy simple. We're just going to create two variables, one for our hand menu and the other for our off screen menu. We'll add an event listener for clicks on the hand menu and when we detect a click, we want to toggle the active class on both the hand menu as well as the off screen menu. And that's it. Now our off screen menu slides into place and we have an X to close it when we click on our hamburger menu. Sure, you can use libraries like Bootstrap to build things like this pretty quickly, but it's always cool to understand how something works. If you want the full code, make sure to check out the link in the description for the repo, or if you want to come hang out with us in Discord, the link is also in the description. See ya.